as parents, we have to lead by example, showing our kids the importance of everything from dental care for a beautiful smile to regular eye exams for reading the best books before bed. Healthcare visits are essential. Each visit to the dentist, optometrist, and physician generates a record of our family health. Years ago, I got a call that was alarming. A call from my husband's job. They said he had had a medical emergency and that I should come to the restaurant right away. I got the kids, got my keys. It was the longest ride to the hospital ever. When we got to the hospital, my husband lay in a hospital bed. The nurse was happy to collect as much information about my husband's health as possible. And maybe it was just the anxiety of the moment or just the fact that he was laying somewhere unable to speak for himself. But the, I couldn't answer all the questions that they were asking about his last physical. Um, did he have high blood pressure? Were there any family issues, medical issues that, I, that they needed to be aware of? They were trying to diagnose what had caused this medical emergency. So after a few hours, a lot of tests, x-rays, they gave my husband a diagnosis. He stayed in the hospital a few days, and then he was released. What came from that was a lot of information about things that we needed to do about keeping him healthy, but also, we got a lot of bills in the mail. There was a bill from the hospital for the hospital stay. There were bills for the labs, x-rays, the prescriptions that he was given. A lot of things that we weren't expecting. <clears throat> and I didn't like that experience, just not knowing my my fear was there about the possibility of losing my husband and not really knowing what the status of his health was going to be. But the doctors were great. They diagnosed the issue, was put on medication. He was put under doctor's care on a regular basis. And so the medical records that we now keep are because of this emergency that was a huge wake-up call for us. Because now we have those records filed and put in a, in a way that we can access those very quickly. Every year, I always had access to my son's physicals for school or for camp. But I never thought about doing one for myself and my husband. Now I have those. So I encourage you as caregivers, create that for yourself and your family you'll really appreciate the fact that you did. Healthcare providers create personal health records for each member of our family. Here are four benefits to your organizing your family's pers personal health records. Compile the family's shot records, last physicals, family medical history, surgery and any health screenings, dental exams and surgeries, eye exams, and chronic illnesses. Managing your family's medical cost. With open enrollment, you have a chance to look at the monthly insurance premiums, make any changes if need be. You can also evaluate the cost of monthly prescriptions, co-pays and deductibles, and whether or not you wanna use your health savings account of an accident or work injury, in case you need a professional caregiver, in case you are unable to speak for yourself. Do yourself a favor and compile these documents so no more searching for documents and provide easy access for your family in case of an emergency. to organize your medical information in five easy steps according to medicare.org.
When deciding how to organize medical paperwork for yourself or another as a caregiver, develop a system that works best for you and is easy to transport, store, and update. Consider using a three-ring binder or file folders. If you have the capability, make duplicate electronic copies of scanned or photographed documents and save them on your computer. Or use a software tool made specifically for medical documents. The first page of your personal health record should include your name, date of birth, blood type, and a table of contents. The remaining information is customizable, but the following steps will help you navigate the process when creating your personal health record. Step one, locate and keep copies of medical records. Call your doctor to request copies of your medical records and let them know you're creating a personal health record. You'll need to sign a release form, provide a valid government issued photo ID, and you may be required to pay a fee. If you are a caregiver requesting records for someone other than yourself, Facilities will only release them if a direct authorization to disclose records to a third-party form is signed by the patient. Most requests can be fulfilled within 5 to 10 business days. However, HIPAA allows providers 30 days to complete a record request plus a single 30-day extension. Step 2. Organize medical history and current health information categorically and chronologically. Every individual has a different health history. Therefore, how you categorize your records is a personal decision. Your current and past health information may include doctor office visit information, such as the date, doctor's name, and any notes from that visit, dates and results of the test, procedures, or health screenings, information about any major illnesses, surgeries, or hospital visits, a history of any counseling received, your last hearing, vision, and dental records, history of childbirth, immunization records, cancer screenings, including pap test, mammograms, colonoscopy, and prostate-specific antigen test. Information that is needed in an emergency, such as a pacemaker or stent or hearing and vision problems a list of long-term chronic health problems such as arthritis, asthma, diabetes, or high blood pressure, a list of allergies including drug or food allergies, family history of disease, medicines taken in the past and present including any side effects. Step three, list all current and past medications and prescriptions. Include a list of current and past supplements, prescriptions, and over-the-counter medications. Write down the drug name, dosage, start date, end date, and the condition it is treating, plus any side effects experienced. Step four, keep track of billing and insurance documents. In chronological order, organize copies of all bills and receipts from doctor's offices and any insurance payment documentation. Keep forms of insurance claims, payments, and balance information. Include a log of phone conversations with insurance representatives, including the date and name of the person you spoke with. Include a copy of your insurance and Medicare card. Step five, create a list of important contacts. Record names, medical practices, addresses, telephone numbers, and email if applicable of your doctors and pharmacist. Include the emergency contact information of a caregiver, family member, or friend in case of an emergency. Include the name, policy number, address, and telephone number of your health insurance company. Ooh, I know that was a lot, right? Well, these are the three areas that I divided my medical records into. using a three ring binder to keep these organized. A friend once told me, as a parent, if you're not exhausted at the end of the day, you're not doing it right. Well, caregivers, we are doing it right. So we need to rest easy.